identify the type of highlighted implant okay so we have an opg here and we have three different types of implant rather four different type of implants so let's try to break down each one of these first let's have a look at these smaller implants so these are smaller they are directly into bone two of them are tapered and two of them are cylindrical okay so these are basically nothing but our conventional endosseous implants this is how they look on the opg secondly there is this long implant which is going if this is see this is your maxilla over here so this is definitely not going in the maxilla it's going into the basal bone of some other bone okay so these are some basal kind of implants now the bone that goes over here this bone is the zygomatic bone so these are longer implants as we can see and they have a connection on the alveolar ridge they are opening up on the alveolar ridge for the prosthesis okay so this implant is a longer implant it's a zygomatic implant and the highlighted implant now coming to the main implant in question this implant is somewhere between the size of an endosseous implant and a zygomatic implant and if you see the angulation which is very peculiar to this implant it is nearly 45 degree angulated and it is going into some kind of a plate at the corner it's not going into the body of a bone but it's going into a thinner section if you can see there is a thinner shadow over here so that's going into some plate okay now let's have a look at the options intracranial implant intra means inside cranium means the skull bone is it in going into the skull bone definitely not so that's not the option okay next is temporal implant temporal meaning going into the temporal bone now this is the temporal bone over here as we know tmj so this is the temporomandibular joint mandible is here temporal bone is this is it going into the temporal bone most certainly not so again that is not an option the next two options are pterygoid implant and zygomatic implant which are both confusing options with the kind of designs that they have so let's have a look at the designs and see what is the answer so the first picture that we have over here is a pterygoid implant like i told you it's angled at a 45 degree angulation and it goes into the pterygoid plate and it is smaller as compared to zygomatic and larger than our normal endosseous conventional endosseous implants if you see here this is the endosseous implant and this is the zygomatic implant going into the body of the zygoma so definitely if you see the size endosseous is the smallest followed by pterygoid implant and then the zygomatic implant coming back to the question this implant over here is definitely a zygomatic is a definitely a pterygoid implant and not a zygomatic implant it is going into the pterygoid plate so the answer is pterygoid implant